Hi Leo, welcome to With Love Tarot. I'm back with your Reconciliation Situation Tarot reading. Now this is the one that you voted on most under my community tab, so thank you so much for your feedback and votes. As you know, I do the Core Series readings for you guys, but I also want to do surprises and bonus readings, so I want to make sure it's actually something you want to watch, so thanks for your feedback. So I'm going to be looking at the person who is most on your mind. Now this could be a recent breakup or somebody from a while back. And we're going to look at your current energies, how your person feels about you and reconciling the likely outcome and advice card. And I also took an oracle card, so stick around till the end. For the current energies, we have the Four of Pentacles. So the immediate feeling I'm getting here is that you or your person or both are clinging on to a connection and not letting it go. Now, if there's no communication here, there's still a feeling that the connection is not lost is the message that's coming through here. Like I said, you're likely holding on to it or even replaying memories over and over, some type of nostalgia attached here. There's a feeling that your person may be doing this as well on their end. For their feelings for you, we have the Four of Swords, which is one of the reasons I mentioned that there could be no communication. Your person is feeling silent. So if you haven't talked to your person in a long time, this can sometimes represent that. There's some type of literal break in communication or something that was put on pause. So this could be something short term or I'm even feeling that this could be something that goes back a long time ago. That perhaps you haven't talked to your person for a while. Or this could be how they're feeling, right? They could be feeling like they haven't spoke to you in a long time. There's complete silence. For their feelings about a reconciliation, we have the Five of Wands. So they're feeling some type of struggle. Okay. The message I'm feeling is that they could be thinking that there's conflict involved in this connection. Also competition. So for some of you, your person could feel that you have a lot of options or there was some competition within the connection. The other message coming through here is that they feel maybe like they can't win with you. Okay. Uh, I noticed the person here is almost like giving up. So for some of you, there was some conflict and the feeling is almost like it's, it's a lot or a struggle is how they feel about reconciling. Now, the likelihood of a reconciliation, we have temperance. So two messages immediately here is that for some of you, there is a chance at reconciliation, but you have to be patient with it and also put the work in. There's something needs to be healed and the connection needs to be repaired or worked on. Now, whether this is work that needs to be done within the relationship or you need to do work or your person needs to do work, that's the feeling and message coming through here. So I'm going to clarify everything to get a little bit more specific. Okay, wow. So clarifying the four of pentacles, we have the lovers. This is a significant relationship or union. For many of you, you feel like this person was your soulmate or you feel really connected with them. Really, really beautiful card, guys. And as I was feeling that either you or your person don't want to let this go, I believe it's on both ends here and this is confirming it, okay? This is two people coming together. This is sometimes also a twin flame union or relationship. The feeling I'm getting here is that both of you guys are very much clinging to the connection and don't want to let it go. You're not ready to put it down. 
Now, you could be dealing with a Gemini. And for some of you out there, a choice has to be made in this connection. Clarifying the Four of Swords for your person's feelings, we have the Knight of Cups. So, for, so yes, guys, so if there hasn't been any communication or there's just even a break, your person wants to come on to that energy. They do want to offer you something. They want to make you a love offer. Your person feels emotional towards you and they do love you. So regardless of whether there's been communication or not, that your person very much still has loving feelings for you and they are attracted to you and for some of you they want to come in and make you an offer now clarifying the five of wands we have seven of cups and this makes a lot of sense guys there was some type of instability or struggle going on here okay and for your, how your person feels about a reconciliation two messages coming in for some of them they feel like it's out of their reach or even maybe a fantasy And for some of them, they feel like they need to get grounded in their own life and they need to get their stuff together. Now, you could be dealing with somebody who is a little bit non-committal, in and out, or they're kind of, they have some type of Peter Pan syndrome, right? They Maybe they don't even want to grow up, right? They're kind of like, they're here, they're there, they're there, they're in fantasy land. They just don't, they're not grounded, right? So, and some of them are aware of that. They could be aware of their tendencies and they know they need to work on themselves and they know, they know they need to get their stuff together. Now, clarifying temperance, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, guys, this is Major Arcana here. So, what this is saying is there's work that needs to be done in this connection or union, but also be patient because for some of you out there, you will have the chance to reconnect with your person. Especially with the lovers present here, guys, this really could be a karmic relationship or twin flame union that you're involved with. And something could come back around. And you might have to be patient in it or continue to be patient and also be willing to work on the union and connection as well. So I'm just going to take one more card here. Seven of Pentacles fell out onto the Temperance and Wheel of Fortune and it's more of the same energy which is putting some type of hard work into a situation and continuing to do so. This is my, a watch pot doesn't boil card. So some of you could be feeling impa impatient and confirming the message here that you have to be patient, right? And continue to put the work in. Seven of Pentacles also says that some type of positive results will come through, but again, you have to be patient and continue to work on it. So the card that I took for your advice is really, really beautiful. And this is what popped out, the Queen of Wands. Guys, this is you, man or woman, somebody who's really beautiful inside and out. Now, I'm using the Vice Versa Tarot deck, so there's a different message to each side. And this is one of my favorite queens because she has her eyes closed. And you rarely, really, if ever, see that. And what this is saying is, for advice to continue to work on yourselves and continue to move forward with your life. You're already powerful. You already are very attractive and have all these traits, but continue to ground yourself and go within specifically quiet your mind and be still because you have the power to manifest things and you have magic. You're very magical. So realize that. The Oracle card that fell out for you before your reading is you are limitless. You can do anything you choose. Really beautiful. I'm going to hold this up for you. 
When you are too close to a situation, you only have one perspective. There are so many possible outcomes for this situation. Take a broader look, release the need to control what is happening, and allow your inner knowing to help you. Things always work out as they should. When your soul is experiencing its purest form, it has limitless knowledge, infinite wisdom, and boundless energy. You may have developed some negative self-talk that is limiting what you can accomplish. Connect to the beautiful light that dwells in your being and represents your soul. Remember that your abilities are fueled by your imagination. Dream big. A unicorn emerges from a woman's being. The unicorn represents healing powers, possibility, and knowledge of the soul. Two swans sit in the heart area to signify the grace that is connected to you always. Trust in your ability and know you can achieve anything you set your mind to. It's the same message here too. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to connect with me on Instagram, you can find me at with love tarot official with love.